Hey everybody, my name is Stu Fuchs, and this is Ukulele Zen. Really appreciate you clicking on this video. I hope you'll watch the whole lesson. Today is going to be a lesson in easy reggae rhythm. This strum also could be a ska strum if you played it twice as fast. Thanks so much for watching. Let's get into the lesson. Let's first get into the rhythm of it. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm tapping my ukulele and then strumming up. Now, I'll break this down right now for you. What I'm doing is I'm tapping my foot on beats one and three. And I'm also tapping my ukulele at the same time. That mutes the strings and adds a little percussion to your sound. You could also do this without percussion if you touch really lightly. Then on beats two and four, I'm strumming up. And then when I tap, or touch again, uh, mute the strings. So that makes a really crisp sound. If you do this with a bass player or along with a rhythm track, you'll find your ukulele becomes a really great percussion instrument. So check this out. I'm gonna tap my foot and begin counting. Won't you join in? One, two, three, four, one, two, three. So your mission to put the up strum right in the middle. And to not rush is very tricky. So I would recommend doing this with a metronome. Metronome clicking, click, 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 click. And you practice getting the up strum right in the middle. If you can do that for just 30 seconds, very precisely, then that's a major accomplishment. If you can do it for a minute straight, even better. Eventually work up to about two or three minutes and you can play a whole song like this. Now, as you learn this strum, I want to encourage you to use your other senses. I know right now, if you're still watching this, thanks for not clicking away. Um, if you're still watching this, you're using your eyes to look right at me. Well, I would want, I would invite you to please look at your foot and your hand. See if you can have your view include both of them. And then try this out for size. Be able to see what's going on and breathe deeply. And just smile to your hand. It will feel different right away. You can practice this with open strings. All right, if you were playing a ska song, you'd go very fast. All right, so now let's play the tune. Now, if you want to follow along with the song sheet, by the way, I hope you've downloaded it. It's free, go get it. If you want to follow along, you can do one of two things. You can change the chords above the lyrics at the top of the page, or I think even better, to understand the structure of the song, look at the bottom of the page, and you can see that those boxes there. What you're gonna do is visualize a bouncing ball going across, counting to four each box. One, two, three. Four, one, two, three, four. This is a good musical skill. It trains your eye to look across a page in regular rhythm. And then, of course, the trick is to be looking ahead a little bit so you know what the next chord is. This will become easier with practice, so just stick with it, okay? This is a uh, really fun song. It's a high-pitched song, so apologies in advance. I'll try not to hurt your ears. Ladies, you can sing this right along with me with ease, I hope. Okay, men, let's do it. <laughs> One, two, red, red wine goes to my head. Thoughts of you 
would leave my head I, I was wrong And now I find Just one thing makes me forget Red, red wine Stay close to me Don't let me be alone It's tearing apart My blue could repeat these chords for some solo. The original has some synth, etc, etc. But the idea is that you're keeping steady time and you're not racing ahead, okay? This is tricky to do, to keep your sense of time coordinated across the body, right? The foot, the hand, the voice, this hand and to not rush ahead. It takes time. But just remember, um, this is meant to be a relaxing song. So, you know, just kind of sit back, let reggae come to you. Don't rush into it, let it come to you. That would be my advice. Just sit back, let the rhythm come to you. Hey, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I got more videos coming every week, so please click the subscribe button. There's gonna be more goodies. This will be the last reggae lesson for a little while. We're gonna cover a Rolling Stone song next. So hope that you enjoyed this. Please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, a like, and let me know what you think in the comment section below. Wishing you all the best. Peace.